Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Pager here, with another video and another preview of a television show coming up in the next couple of weeks. So in this video, we're going through the Flash Season 2 preview. This is my favorite show. I cannot wait for it to start again, and I'm so excited. So let's get straight into the preview. So Flash Season 2 will debut on October 6th. Cannot wait. I might say that a couple times in this video, but I'm so excited. Now, Barry at the beginning of this season will not be in a good place because... He's being treated like a hero. There's Flash days, there's all these different things in honor of the Flash because everyone thinks that he saved the city. Now, in regards to the singularity that's above Central City, yeah, he probably saved them there. But in regards to Eobard Thorn and all that, he treats Eddie as the hero because Eddie sacrificed his life so Eobard Thorn would never exist. So Barry feels like he doesn't deserve the praise he's getting and he sort of wants to keep people away um, due to the fact that Eddie had to sacrifice himself so the Flash, one, didn't die, but also so the Flash technically could beat Reverse Flash. Now, Season 2 will actually take place a few months after the end of Season 1. Um, but we also, we'll get like a bit where the Singularity is defeated. I don't think they'd cop us out of that. I think they would treat us to that to see how they defeat. And also, you see in some of the trailers, some different scenes that we didn't see at the end of Season 1. So it looks like they are going to sort that out. So it might be like a three or four minute little bit at the beginning of Season uh, two, or might be even like halfway through the first episode. Jay Garrick, we know, will be in this season. He'll team up with Barry, as we thought, but he'll also be like a mentor because Jay Garrick is from Earth 2, but he's also been the Flash for about 10 years or so, from what people are estimating. So he'll be a bit more experienced. He'll be able to teach Barry some new tricks that Barry might not know about his Flash powers, so I think that's going to be pretty cool to see. Zoom, we know, is going to be the bad guy who. In the comics is Hunter Zolomon. Doesn't look like they're going to go down that road. Hunter Zolomon is not going to be in this. Because Hunter Zolomon is really connected to Wally West. They really do need Wally West to be the Flash for it to work. So even though Wally West will be appearing in the season, I don't think th that's why. It's, it's just not um, set out enough with Wally West to include Hunter Zolomon. It could happen later. You never know. But Zoom, as I said, is the bad guy. He's another reverse Flash. And people might think, oh, well, didn't we get a reverse flash in season one? It's going to get a bit confusing having two different reverse flashes. Yes, but I've done a video called Professor Zoom versus Zoom because the first in the first season we had Professor Zoom, which is Harrison Wells, and they were pretty accurate with the oh, Eobar Thorn, sorry, but it was Harrison Wells as well. But you can go check out the video. I'll leave it annotated in one of the corners. Go check that out. I explain it. Patty Spivett will be in this season. She's going to be uh, Joe's new partner, but also Barry's love interest in this season, or for at least part of this season. And uh, you're going to say, oh, well, wouldn't Barry and Iris get together because Eddie's, you know, dead? But Iris is still getting over that, and you got to keep your distance when stuff something like that happens, and I think Barry knows that as well. As I said, Wally West will be, appear uh, be appearing. Sorry, Will he become Kid Flash in this season? Personally, I think yes, but I think it's going to be either in the mid-season finale he'll get electrocuted, or, or hit by lightning, might I say, and then it, or at the end of season two, in the season finale, he'll get hit by lightning, and then either it'll be like obviously the beginning of the second half of the second season that he obviously gets his flash powers, or it'll be beginning of season three where we see him come to terms with him, and then Barry will probably be his mentor. Jesse Quick will also be arriving in this season. She's a female Flash, which is going to be pretty cool to see, but I don't think she'll be getting any super speed unless she already has them, but I don't think that make any sense. I think they'd be taking away from Wally West too much. I think Wally West, Zoom, and Jay Garrick, and Barry Allen will be the only ones that can run fast in this season, and even Wally West is like stretching fast. So there's going to be three people at least who can run very fast in this season, and then Wally West is a maybe, and then Jesse Quick is probably not going to happen at all in this season. It'll probably be safe for season three. There will be more metahumans in this season, which I think is going to be cool. Some of them will be good, some of them will be, uh, some of them will be bad. Some of them will interact with Star Labs, you'd think, and I think one's been confirmed. Cannot remember his name at the moment. Uh, but yep, more metahumans, so at least we get some other cool people to uh, see. Caitlin Snow equals Killer Frost. Will it happen? I'm going to say maybe. Now, I say maybe because Cisco has become vibe. Then we've got Wally West potentially becoming fast. Then we have Jay Garrick. But there is 22 episodes, and as, as we've seen with some other shows, they can run out of content. So I think a Killer Frost storyline would be good to see, especially if Ronnie has something to do with it, whether it be Ronnie dying or something like that, or maybe them letting Ronnie die. It might be something similar where it triggers Caitlyn and it makes her really angry. So yeah, I think it could happen, and I really want to see it happen, and they teased it too much in that season one finale when Barry's running through the uh, the Speed Force. I think it's just teased too much. It has to happen. 
Cisco vibe. It's gonna happen. Are we even are we even discussing this? It's gonna happen. It's too obvious that it's going to happen. And I'm excited to see Cisco finally become vibe officially. And Gorilla Grodd, Linda Park, and Harrison Wells will all be coming back for season two. Gorilla Grodd we knew was alive at the end of that episode that he was involved in because even though he got hit by a train, oh we thought Gorilla Grodd was I was actually angry when that happened because I honestly thought they'd killed off Gorilla Grodd. And I was like, are they kidding? But then at the end of the episode, you see him climbing the building and he jumps at the screen. So it was all good and I wasn't angry anymore. But um, Linda Park as well, which um, I don't know what's going to happen there. Will she be trying to mingle with Barry? I think it might be more of an Iris relationship with Linda. I'm not talking about lesbian. I'm just talking about like a work relationship because Iris is still going to be working at that paper. And also Harrison Wells will be an Earth 2 version of Harrison Wells. And I think he's going to travel back with Jay Garrick or travel to... The original timeline or earth one whatever you want to call it with jay garrick in terms of solving or stopping sorry certain villains crossing over from earth two to earth one to cause destruction in earth one so thanks for watching guys leave a like if you enjoyed the video leave any comments on what you enjoyed most about season one and what you're looking forward to most in season two of the flash and make sure to subscribe if you're new i'll catch you all guys later goodbye